Hello, I'm Christopher Bayliss from Fast Growth Online. Thank you for downloading the workbook entitled Manage Relationships with Your Customers. What we're going to do today in this uh, video is two things. First of all, I'm going to set the context of why managing relationships with your customers is so important. And then secondly, I'm going to share with you three hints on using this particular workbook. I'm here today with John Belk. John Belk is the managing director of a company called Dasic International in Southern England. John, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Before we start looking at managing relationships with your customers, Perhaps just for the benefit of the viewer, just share with us a little bit about what DASIC does, please. Okay, DASIC International is uh, an industrial chemical manufacturer. Um, we supply cleaning chemicals um, to the food industry and the aerospace industry. Um, we also supply paint removers to the aerospace industry as well, and oil spill dispersants for treating oil spills on the sea surface. I wanted you to work with you on this for obvious reasons because you've had this success. Can you just share with us your secrets of success as a company in terms of managing relationships with these major airlines and customers in the aerospace industry? Yeah, certainly. Well, first of all, service is extremely key. Yeah. Um, we deliver products on time, when we say we're going to do them, when the customer needs them. Mm -hmm. uh, and extending that further, exceptional service is what we aim for. It's also reactivity, thirdly, as well. Um, it's a continuously changing market. Mm. Legislation is mm. becoming more and more difficult for our customers across the world. Mm. So their market or their product needs change. Mm. So we are continuously evolving our product range as well. Super. Okay. So, sometimes during these video interviews, I introduce you to a book that I think you may, you may find really helpful. And the one I've chosen for today's video is this one here, John. It's called Managing the Delight Factor. Uh, okay, so when you've done the workbook and downloaded it and used it, I do recommend uh, you consider buying a book like this. There are others, uh, but this is by James Lynch, Managing the Delight Factor. So many of the things you've just said, you've done successfully. Yeah, very much so. Okay. So John, you've downloaded the, the workbook, Fast Growth Workbook, entitled Manage Relationships with Your Customers. Yes. They're all easily to do. Uh, they all start with a purpose. Can I ask you to read the purpose from your copy, please? Yeah, certainly. The purpose of the workbook is to assist you to assess how well you manage your company's relationships with your customers, and then plan how to improve these relationships. The goal is that within 12 months, through your improved customer relationships, you substantially increase your performance at both gaining and retaining profitable customers. Crucial. Thank you, John. Okay, uh, on page one, John, if you can just turn to that page, many of these workbooks start with page one, start with what's the problem? Uh, John, if you could just read the top there, because I think this applies to your industry, it certainly applies to the majority of industries I've worked in over the last 20 years. Yes, okay. What's the strategic problem? Your customers' expectations are rising, and new technology keeps raising the bar for what they expect. Your customers' knowledge is increasing. Their easy access to information and reviews through the internet and social media make customers less reliant on you. Customer loyalty is declining. They have plenty of options. Their increasing intolerance of low performance and poor service mean that relationships with you are becoming increasingly transactional and short term. Mm -hmm. I think the, the key thing there, John, is that third paragraph. Customer loyalty is declining. They have plenty of options. All your airlines uh, have plenty of other options yes, for cleaning chemicals. Yeah. Um, let's never forget that. Uh, and really in terms of this workbook, uh, the three critical stages in your relationships with your customers are before they buy from you, some of these new airlines you haven't yet worked with, um, so that's an important stage, whilst they are buying from you, when they're taking the initial batch of chemicals and after they've bought from you. And in all these workbooks we ask you to assess way, how good you are at these various things. Um, 
I recommend you do this as a business leader first and then do it with your team because it's very important this becomes a team thing. Okay, uh, Okay, that's the problem. Now these three hints that I refer to. So if you turn to page two, John, yes. on your workbook, the assessment, probably the most important thing, having set the strategic context and the strategic problem. So assess yourself on a scale one to 10, where one is barely adequate and 10 is outstanding in those three stages that I've just mentioned, i.e. pre-sale relationships before they buy, sale relationships whilst they are buying, and post-sale relationships after they've bought, one to 10. And ask yourself a few questions. How do you engage with prospective customers? What do you do when customers order? And what do you do after the orders are completed? All very straightforward stuff, okay? Well, in terms of going forward, uh, in terms of new airlines and new aerospace manufacturers, where will you be putting your biggest em em emphasis? Um, well, obviously it's finding the, the right people to speak to, um, getting our market uh, image in front of those people and getting our reputation known to those people. Um, people do tend to talk in this industry, so very often these days companies are becoming more and more aware of us, um, but it's all about building, building trust uh, and building reputation. Fantastic. Okay, that's hint number one, assess your relationship with your customers. Hint number two is on page three, identify what matters most to your customers. Don't assume anything. Uh, remember, as far as your customers are concerned, it's their relationship, not yours. So what's most critical for them? Jot your ideas down first as a business leader, and by all means then re-download the workbook and use it with your team. Yes. Very much a team approach. Uh, DASIC, um, of all the companies I've had the privilege and, pr and pleasure of working with over the last 10 years, is incredibly team managed. And you spend an awful lot of time away from site, don't you, as the sales ambassador. Um, so it's very important that it becomes a team, team thing. Yeah. And the final tip is plan your improvements. That's on page four. Uh, all this assessment and stuff is a waste of time unless you do something with it. So plan it. Um, plan how you're going to improve your relationships with your customers and, and that's a, a great little planner to do that. Before we leave this particular workbook, there, are, there is a sister one uh, which some of you may want to download of, as part of your six. It's called Increase Your Lifetime Customers, uh, the lifetime value. Uh, it has a slightly different emphasis but how important that is to this company and to do indeed many other companies, yes? It is extremely important to us, yes, mm. because um, with such a high level of market penetration geographically, obviously we um, need to maintain those customers because they are very significant. Mm. A loss of one of those customers would have a serious or significant financial impact on us. So maintaining the relationship and keeping the customer happy is of vital importance to us. John, you're on a journey, uh, you want to grow the business, not only the food um, manufacturing business, but also other parts of the business. Thank you so much for giving up your valuable time to be with us today. And uh, may I wish you every success in your future growth of your business. Thank you, Christopher.